guys welcome back to my channel and wow this feels super weird it's been so long since I filmed a video so I feel a little bit awkward but I'm just going to push through so um, if you guys follow me on Instagram at macaulay 22 or if you follow my beautiful sister at the Lux babe on Instagram or on YouTube you would have seen her vlogs or, or pictures on Instagram and you would have known that I was recently in Europe so I took vacation and I went to see my sister in Germany and from Germany we decided to visit Paris and we also went to the Netherlands and we had such a wonderful time as you guys probably have seen from my sister's vlogs. But anyway, um, so of course with a Euro trip comes a Euro haul and so uh, we decided to stop by Louis Vuitton. As you can tell from the title above, this is going to be a Louis Vuitton unboxing. So we decided to go there and pick up a few items that we had on the top of our wish list. So um, the store that we visited was the Maison store on Champs-Élysées and we were not going to get our items from that particular store because it got such bad reviews from other vloggers here on YouTube and even some blogs that I follow um, they had some really bad reviews and let me just tell you sometimes you have to uh, check things out for yourself because um, we visited that store since we were already in the area we decided hey let's just go in and take a look at the items uh, we waited online for a little under five minutes which which was no problem for us. The weather was absolutely beautiful. We had to ditch our winter jackets because it felt so much like summer. Anyway, um, upon entering the store, we were immediately greeted uh, and SA was immediately assigned to us and they were so warm and welcoming. They did not rush us. They offered us uh, champagne. We actually took uh, some rosé, I believe. And um, it was nice. They didn't push us around. They didn't rush us. It was absolutely amazing. Our essay's name was Amethyst. So if you're at the uh, Maison store, you could ask for Amethyst. She was absolutely amazing to us. So anyway, with that said, uh, we had such wonderful service there. And we got a few items hot stamped and they took us all the way to the top floor. I mean, the service was just amazing. They allowed us to film inside and it was just so great. So anyway, I say all that to say, you know, we watch videos for advice and you know, to see things or hear about things that other people have experienced. But sometimes you just have to go and get your own experience because not everybody has the same experience there. So we had an absolutely wonderful time there. So anyway, let's get into the haul because I know that's what you guys want to see. And yeah, so let's start with the first item. Okay, so before I show you the first item, um, I'll show you my proof of purchase. So this is what all the receipts come in. And it's just a little brown envelope and inside it has uh, my receipt here. And then it just gives you all the items that you buy and the price for it. Um, I think my info is here so I don't want to zoom in on this. So as I said before, this was the Maison Louis Vuitton de Champs-Élysées and it's at um, Avenue de Champs-Élysées, of course, Paris. And um, I told you guys my, my essay's name was Amethyst and yeah, so that's that. That's my proof of purchase. You guys can see it there. Okay guys, so the first item that I picked up came in this little pull drawer box. And this is a typical uh, Louis Vuitton box. These boxes are really sturdy and hard and I really love them. I can't wait to stack them on each other. And uh, it comes with the holiday uh, ribbon because I was there around the holiday time. And it just comes with this little tag here that says Louis Vuitton. And it comes in a pull drawer and this is the item encased in a yellow dust bag which all of Louis Vuitton's um, items come in. And this is what it looks like. And you guys can probably already guess the item that I uh, chose and this is a pretty common item here on YouTube so you guys probably already know what it is. Uh, so let's just get into it to reveal my uh, Damier Eben key pouch or key clay as a lot of people call it 
and I absolutely love the Damier Eben print. Um, I'm getting a little bit into uh, the monogram, but I decided to go with something that I absolutely loved first, and then I'll get into the monogram later. So here you can see the key pouch and I really wanted this item because you guys know that I work in a hospital and um, I wanted to put like my ID cards, uh, my debit card, credit cards, you know those little things that you always need on you so I don't have to keep going back to my locker so I thought this would be great especially for every day and of course it has the gold hardware and on the zipper it has the LV for Louis Vuitton and these zippers are really really smooth so I really love that about Louis Vuitton and inside it comes with a keychain that you can clasp your keys on or you can put it um, insert it on your bag inside of the bag so it doesn't get lost with everything else in there especially if you carry a huge bag or you could just attach it to your belt wherever I mean this is just multifunctional and I really love this not to mention this fits a lot of cards I think I saw a review where someone actually put like 14 cards in there and it wasn't bulky or anything so I knew I wanted this in my collection inside it just comes with the textile card and that's what inside looks like it has the brown um, textile interior and um, this item was made in Paris in France um, it's a little bit hard to see so you can take my word for it I mean I bought it in Paris and it says here uh, Louis Vuitton made in France so that's it that's my first item and I'm really happy to have this in my collection and I'm also looking in on one of those um, key holders so I don't know my birthday is coming up so who knows what I'll get so that's it that's my first item and um, my sister uh, I don't know if she wants me to tell you this but she also uh, picked one of this up so we were twinning <laughs> Okay guys, so on to the main item that I picked up and this was at the top of my list and this is the box that it comes in. It's a huge box, like see how thick that is? So, and the boxes are hard and durable. I love that about Louis Vuitton boxes. So yeah, this is my uh, next item. And of course, again, it has the holiday ribbon on it with the tag that says Louis Vuitton. So I removed the ribbon. This is the top of the box. And oh my god, I'm so excited to see this because I haven't seen it uh, since I purchased it. I waited, you guys. I It took so much out of me to not open this. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. So, uh, this is what the item looks in, um, looks like in the dust bag, the yellow dust bag. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! Okay, and this is it out of the dust bag. Are you guys ready? Ready? To reveal... <laughs> Look at it, you guys! I'm super, super excited! So as you guys can tell, this is the Louis Vuitton uh, Alma in Damier Eben, and I picked this up in the PM size. I was actually looking at the BB, but I think it was a little bit too small for me. Um, you guys know that I'm a Glamazon already, so I wanted something that wouldn't look too awkward. Not that it looks awkward, but I just really, when I tried the PM size on, it just really suits me, you know what I mean? I mean, it's so classy, the size is just amazing, and it really really looked good on me so I decided to go with the PM and everyone agreed my sister agreed the SA agreed that the PM was uh, better suited on my frame and I really agreed with that it, it's just super amazing it was always on the top of my list uh, to get so anyway I said before uh, this is the Damier Eben print uh, PM and of course you guys know that the Alma was named after the Alma bridge in France and it was a bridge that connected the fashion neighborhoods so um, that was the name um, 
the inspiration for the name and let me just get in and tell you a little bit about my Alma. So, yes, it's in the Damier Eben. It comes with um, the top handle, double top handles. And I chose the Damier Eben because I didn't want to fuss about um, my bag, you know, having to worry about water stains and patina. So I wanted something that would be uh, durable and would be suited for all weathers. So I really, that's one of the main reasons um, why I went with the Damier Eben. Um, not to mention that the print is absolutely lovely. So it has the double top handles and it comes with gold hardware as you guys can already see. And one thing I liked about the Alma is that it comes with the attachment for the straps. It did not come with the straps. You have to buy that separately. But if I chose to, um, I can buy the straps and attach them here. So I am going to do that later on. And then it comes with the double um, zipper here and you could put the lock through here when you move them closer together and of course uh, the zipper has LV on it I'm sure you guys can see that and another thing that I love about this bag is that the zippers goes all the way down to the sides which makes it much easier for you to access all your items so you guys can see that there before I get to the inside um, it has the uh, leather cloche on here and as you guys can see I had mine hot stamped with my initials LA and inside of the cloche you have the keys so that's what that looks like okay and on the cloche it just says Louis Vuitton Paris okay um, what else so you guys can see that it has the golden hardwares and these uh, studs just support uh, the handles and it says Louis Vuitton and it has it on both sides as you guys can see and what else can I share with you okay so on the bottom where you have the dark chocolate leather you also have four protective um, studs on there that will protect your bag if you decide to put it on the floor or on any surface it will protect the leather so I really like that about this bag okay on to the insides on the inside, you guys can see this fits a lot. There's a lot of space in here. And I absolutely love the pop of red um, color on the inside. So you can see it has the red uh, textile in there. And on the sides up here, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, it might show up a little bit dark, but um, it has two slots here that you can put cell phones or anything that you want to put in the sides. And those are the only two compartments that it has in the, um, in the bag. Other than that, it's just a really big compartment for all your goodies. And yeah, I really like that. And as I said, with the zippers being down all the way to the bottom, you have easy access to reach your items in and out. So that was it. So I really, really like this bag. I'm super excited. I mean, I absolutely am just in awe of this bag. It really suits my personality. So classy, so classic, and that's just me. So I really, really love this bag. Okay, guys, so the measurements on the Alma PM, um, the length measures 14.2 inches. Okay, and the height measures 11 inches and the width is 6.7 inches across. So those are the measurements and those are the items that I picked up at Louis Vuitton. I'm super, super excited. I can't wait to wear this bag on my birthday and I can't wait to look into what I might pick up on my birthday from Louis Vuitton. Okay guys, so I also wanted to share with you, um, you guys know that I already own the Speedy 35 um, Bangelaire. And my sister and I decided to get this bag um, hot stamped in Germany and because we were walking around and we just decided hey let's get our bag hot stamped together my sister also owns a speedy 35 um, so uh, I, as you guys can see here I had my initials hot stamped LA and this was free of cost all the um, all the hot stamps are free of cost as long as you have a um, Louis Vuitton bag that is original. 
so yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I love that I personalized my bags because I mean I really worked hard and to pay this kind of money um, for this bag I don't I don't think I would ever sell my uh, my Louis Vuitton bags because I mean I bought them for myself I bought them for a reason I, and if I'm not in love with something then I won't purchase it not to say anybody who sells their bags I mean sometimes you just outgrow your bags and that's totally fine but for me these will always be in my collection so that's why I have no problem hot stamping uh, my bags and I think my sister feels the same way we spoke about this and yeah we we won't ever sell our bags so okay, anyway guys, so I also wanted to share two accessories with you guys they're not from Louis Vuitton but it goes with my bags so I'll just uh, put this in this video and um, I wanted to share with you that we stopped by uh, Lagerie and I think we stopped at the Lagerie in uh, Printemps or it might have been Galleria Lafayette but something is telling me that it was the print top store. So anyway, we went to Lagerie and of course we got some macarons which were absolutely scrumptious. Oh, I just love Lagerie's macarons. And so I decided to pick up a little keepsake uh, keychain for my bag. And this is what the packaging looks like. This color is so beautiful. And... You open it and it has this little uh, protective sponge thing and then it comes with a card and of course it's all in French so I don't read French sorry um, and then it is covered by this tissue paper To reveal this beautiful beautiful keychain it's absolutely gorgeous I love the colors it just has the brown macarons pink and a red burgundy ish color it's so beautiful and a few, as you guys can see it has uh, the Eiffel Tower which was really fitting and then it has this other um, gold chain here and I, I really like the one that had the poodle on it but I really love the combination of this color so I decided to go with this one if I can get it out and this is what it looks like it's absolutely beautiful I love this color combination and I think it will go really well and just to with show you guys bag. what it looks like this is what it would look like on my bag and I think I did really well with this color combination it's so so beautiful and uh, yeah I think I'm going to leave it like this it's so so pretty okay they also had a beautiful one with a pom-pom on it but I didn't want to you know get too much so I decided if I um, ever really wanted it, I could always pick it up in the city in New York. So I just went with the one that really popped out to me. So Love and the it. next item that I picked up, this one was not picked up in Europe. I actually picked this up at Macy's um, when I came back from my trip, and I thought it would go really well with my bag. So this is from Michael Kors, as you guys can see, and this is one of their fur pom poms. And of course, I chose the one uh, in red because I think it will look absolutely gorgeous on my bag. And I'm not even a red person so much. Like, I love it. Like, I like it, but it's not, like, my favorite color. But I thought that the deepness of this red was so beautiful and it would go really well with the Damier Ben. Again, um, let me just show you guys what it would look like here. How beautiful is that I just think the red goes really really well with this bag and so I think I made a really good choice with this how beautiful is that guys and I think this pom-pom uh, went for $38 they also have a larger one which I think was around 49 I'm not sure but um, I thought it was a little bit too huge I don't really like the oversized pom-poms I thought this was a really good size for me and so I think both of them look absolutely gorgeous on the Damier Eben print. 
There you go. And that's it. That's all I have to share with you guys today on my Louis Vuitton unboxing. I really truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been so long since I've filmed so if I'm a little bit awkward in this video just look past that. I know you guys would understand. And um, I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me. I saw that I got so many new subscribers in my absence, which I think is amazing. So I wanted to thank all the people who stuck with me, my older subscribers, and for the new people who came over. Hi! Um, I know I haven't been filming and... Um, you guys who have been with me, you already know that I'm super, super busy. So anytime that I can get to film, I just pop in. And um, I'm trying to change that, but it's going to take some time. So yeah, again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed my Louis Vuitton unboxing. I'm super excited about my uh, clay and my Alma. I'm just, ugh, I can't wait to wear it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comment bar below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Macaholic22 and check out my sister as well, the Lux Babe. She has so many beautiful photos on her Instagram and catch up on our vlogs on her channel. We did, uh, I think we did around four videos or so on her channel so you guys will be able to see um, or experience uh, in Europe. So yeah, so until next time, um, bye guys and I'll catch up with you later.